Hello guys, welcome back to Lead Logics. Today we'll be going to discuss the daily lead code challenge problem. Today's problem is 706 Design Hash Map. So the given problem requires the implementation of a custom hash map data structure with the following functionalities. That is, it should have a put, void put with int key and int value and inserts the key value pair into hash map. There should be a get that returns the value to the specify key what what is mapped or else it will return minus one if there is no key mapped to the value. Uh, we also have to implement a void remove function. Uh, this removes the key which is passed as an argument and its corresponding value in the map if contains the mapping for the key. So coming to the intuition. The intuition behind this custom hash map implementation is to use an array of linked lists to handle the storage of key value pairs. Here's an intuitive uh, intuition for each major aspect of solution like for hashing and indexing. To efficiently store and retrieve key value pair we need a way to map each key to the index in our array. This is where hashing comes into play. We will use a hash function to convert the key into an index with the range of our array. This allows us to quickly locate the bucket that is the linked list what we are using where the key value pair should be stored. So we'll use the concept of hashing to locate where the key value pair will be stored. The second point uh, in designing a hash map is the handling of the collisions. The hash function may reproduce uh, the same index for different keys and when this happens it results in a collision meaning uh, multiple key values are mapped to the same bucket so to handle collisions each bucket in the array is implemented to as a linked list this allows us to chain multiple keys key value pairs together in the same bucket when inserting a new key or value pair we calculate the index using hash function and then search within the linked list for the key. If found, we update the key value, otherwise we append a new node to the linked list. The third point is uh, retrieving and removing the values. So when removing a value for a given key, we calculate the index using the hash function and search for the linked list as the index of, for the key. So if we, uh, if we found the element, we return the corresponding value, otherwise we return minus 1 to indicate that the key is not mapped. When removing a key value pair, we also calculate the index. We search for the linked list for the key and then remove the node containing that key if it exists. Now the last point in uh, designing a hash map would be sentinel node. A sentinel node is a dummy key value pair that is minus 1 minus 1 you can which is used at the beginning of each linked list bucket. This simplifies the code for insertion and removal as we are always maintain a reference to the previous node while searching. So this in summary, this custom hash map leverages hashing to efficiently map the keys to the indexes of arrays and list, arrays of linked list. It handles collision by changing key value pairs together in the same bucket and provides the basic functionalities of put, get and remove. We use sentinel node in each bucket to streamline the operations. Now coming to the implementation. So the implemented solution is, uh, you can see the implemented solution. So the implemented solution is based on the idea of using an array of linked list to handle a collision. Here is an explanation of the, uh, the code. So the my hash map class uh, will contain the array of nodes. Each element in the array is a linked list that can store a key value pairs. So this is basically to store the values of different hash. Then the next would be idx function. idx. So this IDX method calculates the index in the array based on the provided key. It uses hash code of, of the key modulo of the length of the nodes 
to determine the index so this this can be defined as our basic hash function this uses the modulo of nodes dot length the next uh, function is find so this method searches for a key in the given linked list and returns the previous node before the target key this is used to perform operations like put remove the next function will be put the put method first calculates the index using idx if the linked list at that index is empty it creates a new linked list uh, new list node with dummy keys minus one minus one uh, to act as a sentinel node then it searches for the key in the linked list using find if the key is found it updates the value otherwise append a new value with the provided key and value the uh, next function will be the get so the get method calculate the index using idx and searches for the key in the linked list the at the index if found return the corresponding value otherwise return minus one we can see it uses the find method to find the value if found it returns the value if not found it return minus one then the remove function the remove method calculates the index using the idx function that is the hash function and searches for the key in the linked list uh, first of all we need to find the hash then we search for the linked list of the um, target is present if found it updates the next pointer of the previous like we had with the previous pointer so what we'll do that uh, previous of next we'll do previous of next of next so one node will be skipped so this is what we have done previous of next equal to previous dot next dot next so one node will be skipped if found the target is found so overall this solution provides the basic functionalities of a hash map using an array of linked lists to handle collisions it ensures the key value pair can be inserted retrieved and removed efficiently now coming to the time complexity the time complexity of the put and the get and the remove operations is o of 1 on the average uh, assuming a good hash distribution in most of the cases the hash function will not have collision in the worst case, if all the keys have same hash and results in collision, the time complexity of these operations can be O of n, where n is the number of elements in the map. The space complexity is O of m, where m is the size of the nodes array, which is set to 10,000 in this implement implementation. Uh, so this solution provides an efficient way to implement a custom hash map without built-in hash table library. So please let's see to how to run. I mean, if it runs or not. So it runs. It seems fine. Time to submit the code. Okay. So completed. So you can see the code. So definitely, please like share subscribe my youtube channel if you like the video and the solution you can also find my solution from the lead code solutions with the handle id millennium 103